Now let's consider the energy aspect a little bit. So we still have this plot. We said the free energy change for the nucleation with radius, we give it in this way. Data G is volume term, the volume times volume free energy change with the negative sign plus the 4 pi r squared, that's the area times the interfacial energy term. This is the whole thing. It's given by this black line. The area term is given by this red dashed line to the power of r squared. The blue one is represent the whole thing here. It's negative and it's proportional to the radius to the power of 3. This is our whole thing. Okay? And we said, okay, when our r radius reaches what? The so called the critical point. What happens at a critical point? The local first derivative is what? At r star, the local first derivative is 0. Okay? When r equals r star, what is r star? From previous page, we said it's 2 gamma divided by the gv okay when this happens the data g term would be data g star and we would plug in replace r with what with r star which is 2 gamma divided by data gv we put that uh, r star r to the power 3 here put that same thing to r to the power of 2 here Make sense? We're just, okay, when R, when our actual radius equals that uh, star, that critical value, the data G, v, data G term becomes this, the free energy change. And of course, we are going to simplify this. Minus 4 over 3 we keep, pi we keep, this 2 to the power 3 give us 8, gamma to the power 3 we keep, and the data GV to the power of 3, but now we also have a data GV here, now become data GV to the power of 2 in the denominator. And then 4 pi we keep in the front, and the 2 to the power of 2 become 4 gamma to the power of 2 gamma square, and then data GV to the power of 2, we keep it here. Okay? And Yes, this is 2, and here we have 1, that becomes our 3 here, make sense? The, here is we have power of 2, we have 1 here, we become power of 3. Now if we combine these together, we are going to have 3, 4 times 8 is 32, minus pi, 4 times 4 is 16 pi, but the common factor is gamma interfacial energy to the power of 3 divided by data gv to the power of 2. Okay? And then within the bracket that we can further simplify. This we can have so called the critical nucleation energy or so called nucleation barrier which is just how high this number is would be 16 times 3 that's 48 minus 32 that's 16 over 3 pi this term so this would give us so called uh, critical nucleation energy or nucleation barrier in this case and if we recall the data gv term it's still l data t over tm we plug this one back in we can have the so called data g star the critical nucleation energy height would be si 16 3 we keep pi we keep, gamma to the power 3 we keep, and then the data gv square term we become tm square, lv square, tm square top, and data t square. That's what we're going to get. But in essence, what do we get? Data g star, do you see this in this here? Data g star depends on the inverse of square of undercooling. What does this mean? 
when data t goes towards zero, which means under cooling become smaller and smaller, this data g star becomes what? Infinite. This is a, another way to say, okay, when data t goes towards zero, which means we are getting closer and closer to the equilibrium melting point, the data g star goes towards infinity. Goes towards infinity means can you climb up the hill or not? No, that's almost impossible for you to climb up the hill, which means the so-called homogeneous nucleation for solidification will not occur under what? Small undercooling. Small undercooling is when data t is small, very close to zero, which means we are just barely below the melting temperature. Okay? So these are some considerations.